We begin tonight with a look at a new bill that was signed by Governor Greg Abbott yesterday that will bring changes to the way law enforcement deals with the mentally ill. It's called the Sandra Bland Act, named after a woman who was found dead in jail shortly after her arrest. But what changes would this bill bring to our area? Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore spoke to the staff at the Bell County Jail today about those new rules. He joins us now with more. Andrew. Chris, Sandra Bland was arrested by a state trooper in 2015 and died in a county jail three days later. later the medical examiner called it a suicide and later it was discovered Bland may have suffered from depression and other health issues. This bill seeks to protect similar people in other cir similar circumstances. The new law requires a local sheriff's office to tell a judge within 12 hours if a person in their custody may be dealing with mental health issues or a mental disability. Previously, they had three days to do this. Then the person must be checked out by a mental health expert that the jail makes available and possibly taken to a facility for care. Captain Byron Shelton at the Bell County Jail has been keeping track of those changes and says his deputies are up to the task. The jail is working to make sure they have access to a mental health expert 24 seven, even if they have to teleconference. They are also preparing to give all correctional staff the de-escalation training the new law requires. And the sheriff's office says that that will help staff better identify people with mental health issues. Shelton says that despite the requirements, the Sandra Band law will be a positive step. County jail uh, for most mental health folks in crisis, it's not the place for them. Um, we don't have the staff to continuously take care of these people. With the, with the Sandra Bland Act, this will allow them to have more resources to send people to, um, and allow them to get on medication, stay on medication. The Sandra Bland Act will also require, in some cases, the sheriff's office to take people abusing drugs to a, uh, to a facility for help instead of straight to jail. The act goes into effect September 1st. Chris? All right, Andrew, thanks so much. We'll get you back.